G'day guys and welcome back to another video on the channel and in today's video we're going to be recreating more AFL Guernseys. This time it's going to be home Guernseys for the 2022 season coming up next year. Now obviously I've done this video two times in the past. I once did it last year and I've done a second one just earlier in the year about maybe three to four months ago decided to bring it back as the off season is now on I've made 18 new Guernseys for each team and they are all home kits I hope you all enjoy and we'll get straight into it starting it off with the Adelaide Crows ending with the dogs hope you all enjoy and we'll get straight into the video so starting off with the Adelaide Crows here it is the Guernseys look super realistic they look super nice now, I wanted to start it off a little bit basic. I was just getting my hands around uh, just making the Guernseys uh, for the first couple of them, for maybe until Collingwood is when they start to get pretty outstanding. Um, but I'm going to start it off pretty basic design. Now, we love the gradient in the jumpers. That's why I have the blue at the top, which is usually what they have in their home kit uh, for this year. I've decided to add the crow just because it adds a little bit of a cool effect to the jumper. And obviously we have the yellow and red gradient uh, going down from the top, which is the blue. We've got the sponsors and obviously the crow coming out of the shirt. I'm going to be ranking all these uh, jumpers from 0 to 10. This one, I'm going to start it off and I'm going to give this one, compared to some of the other ones, this one's not really that good. Uh, but when I first made it, I thought this is a pretty sick jumper. I'm going to give this one a 6.5 just because it is a bit basic there could be a few different designs that I could have done for it to make it look a bit cooler but I'm gonna give it a 6.5 for now looks pretty cool we'll move straight on to the Brisbane Lions now moving on to Brisbane we have their home kit now I wanted to kind of do something similar that they've done with their clash kits over the past few seasons I've decided to bring their V just because they've used that in their clash kits uh, a fair few times over the past few years so I've got the top colour, which is blue, then we've got the gold V, and then we've got the main maroon colour for the rest of the top, because that is their main colour uh, for Guernseys, for their home Guernseys. And then I've also added the line in the middle of the jumper, just because that is also what they have in a lot of their jumpers over the past few years. And it just really, it's really iconic for the Brisbane jumpers, that line, so it's hard to leave it out looks pretty similar to a lot of jumpers that they have had in previous years. I'm going to give this one a good, I'm going to give this one 7.5. I reckon it's definitely a big improvement from what we've seen so far with the Crows. Doesn't look too bad at all. Let me know what you guys think in the live chat currently. Moving on to the Blues, it doesn't look too bad. Now, a lot of the Blues fans that watch my videos, uh, they know that I don't really like the the blues in a lot of things that I say but this one it's a decent jumper I wanted to bring back that really light blue that they used I think I think it was 2012 for their clash kit maybe um, but yeah it looks really nice really nice shade of blue and I've just put that at the top as well as added in the white Carlton logo the navy blue going down into the white gradient this one doesn't look too bad it's a basic kit but in my opinion it looks really nice once again once we get onto Collingwood, there's a huge improvement in the jumpers. I'm going to give this one, I think I'll give it the same as Adelaide. I think I'll give it a 6 point. Actually, no, we'll give it a 7. Now, moving on to the pies, we have an absolutely amazing design. I'm straight away going to give it a 10 out of 10. Before even explaining what it is, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. We have the swooping magpie in the middle of the shirt, which just looks absolutely insane. A lot of other AFL content creators have added that swooping magpie. It looks really, really clean on the jumpers. Now, instead of making the complete uh, black background for the jumper, I've decided to go a really dark gray and then done three black stripes in the middle and then one big white, uh, one big stripe of white for both sides of the jumper. We've got the logos and the logos and the sponsors really have a big impact on them. They look much cleaner and they look much more realistic with the logos on them. Now here is the Essendon one. There could have been a few improvements in this one. I wanted to make it a little bit basic. We've made the grey, uh, we've made the bottom of it grey and it kind of fades into a bit of a, bit of a weird texture to the red. And then we've got the Bomber logo in the middle. I was going to try and experiment something with the new Bombers logo, but I know that just wouldn't have worked. Seems so 
their new logo is like pretty, it's really bad, it's definitely the worst in the league. So we've got the main colour up the top in black, we've got the sponsors, we've also got the black collar as well, because any other colour look, did look a bit weird. We will now move straight onto the Dockers, but first I'm going to give this one a rating. I'm going to give this one, I think it's probably the worst of the lot so far, but still not even that bad. I'm going to give it a 6. Moving on to the Frio Dockers, I wanted to make something, I wanted to experiment with the Dockers one a bit, seems though it is my own team. We've got a lot of gradient in this jumper. We have the green on the left, we've got a big white gradient in the middle, which is also on top of that gradient, the big anchor, the big lo Docker logo. And then on the right hand side, we have the red gradient as well. Main colour purple. This one, it, it doesn't look too bad at all. Obviously, it's very different to what the, um, what they have now for their home kit. I'm going to give this one, I think I'm going to give it a 7. I reckon that maybe could be a bit biased, but this one will have a lot of mixed opinions. It'll be either pretty good or pretty bad. Moving on to the Geelong Cats. Now, I really wanted to experiment with this one as well. I'm not sure what you guys are going to be saying right now in the live chat about what you're going to be rating this one, but I wanted to experiment. I wanted to make the background of it light blue, and the light blue doesn't look too bad. I'm just looking back on it now, this one could possibly use, be used as a clash kit instead of a home kit. We've got the grey stripes, and on the grey stripes there's an outline of white, because you can't miss out on white on a cat's jumper. Main colour, light blue. Doesn't look too bad in a cat's guernsey, but maybe if I made the background colour the navy blue, it could look a bit better. But I reckon I wanted to experiment. The light blue doesn't look too bad at all. I'm actually going to give this one a high rating. I'm going to give it a 7.5. Moving on to the Gold Coast one. I really do like this Gold Coast kit. Obviously, it has the yellow fading into the red gradient. And then we've got the massive GC. Obviously, stands for Gold Coast in the middle of the jumper. I can see the Suns rocking this into their into Metricon Stadium for a home game, and it looks better. I reckon they do have a really, uh, really good home kit at the moment. Wouldn't be too bad, maybe for a little switch up for their home kits. We'll move straight on to GWS. Moving on to GWS here, this one is not that bad, I'm going to say that. We've got the big white G in the middle. I tried to experiment the G with a few different colours, but white is the one that made it look better the most. Then we've got orange fading into dark grey as the gradient on the jumper. Now, obviously, there has been a lot of gradients on the jumpers already for the past few of them. Uh, but the gradients really do look nice. Really nice. I reckon the gradient has a lot to do on the redesigning AFL jumpers. They look make it look way better, way more nice. We've got the, gray, the dark grey collar as well. I'm going to give this one a good 8. Obviously, it's a basic design, it's a basic kit, and it's definitely something that they have done in the past before. Moving on to the Hawthorne Hawks. Now, this one could be a little bit complicated for some people, or it could be outstanding for some people. In my opinion, it doesn't look too bad. I could have overdone it with a few colours. This one is going to have a bit of mixed opinions as well. It'll either be rated pretty highly or pretty poorly. I'm going to give this one an 8.5. This is going to have mixed opinions. It's either going to be a good jumper or a bad jumper in some people's eyes. Just because there's a lot loaded onto this jumper, it's a, I'm going to say maybe it's a bit stacked up with different shades and different tones of colours here. We'll move on to the D's one. Now, this one is probably one of the worst of the lot. I'm going to give this one a 5. I've seen other people in their redesigning videos over the past few weeks design a bit of a gold theme in the D's jumpers just because of they won the grand final, obviously. I experimented this one for a fair bit and it just didn't turn out good. I'm actually going to give this one a four. This is really, really bad. And I don't know what I was thinking. Here is the North Melbourne Kangaroos. We have the bottom half in light blue. We have the top half in dark blue. And obviously we have the bouncing kangaroo. One of the best themes that North Melbourne have ever done on a jumper before. We have the white stripes on the bottom half. We have the dark grey, or the light grey, sorry, stripes on the top half. Looks one, one of the best jumpers I've made, I reckon, apart from Collingwood. I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10. Let me know what you guys think about this one. It's extremely good and a lot better than what, than what they have at the moment with their home kit. 
Now moving on to Port Adelaide, a lot of people have done similar designs to this in the past, but I wanted to bring back the Lightning, because the Lightning on a Port Adelaide jumper looks absolutely incredible. We have their old logo holding the Lightning bolts. We have the bottom color half in teal, which is obviously one of their main colors that they use on a Guernsey. And we have the Lightning coming from the top left, and we have the hand holding the Lightning. Looks pretty sick. Although there has been very similar designs done before on this one, I'm still going to give it a good maybe 8.5 just because of the originality, uh, but it doesn't look too bad overall. Moving on to Richmond, now this looks like very similar to what they have had in their pre-season kits. Now their pre-season kits are really, really good and really original. I don't know why they wouldn't maybe uh, bring them in for a few games in the actual home and away season because they are outstanding designs. I'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10, just because of how clean it looks. This jumper looks super clean, especially with the standing up tiger. I used this last time in my Guernsey redesigns. Looks absolutely phenomenal. 10 out of 10, 100%. And as you can see, with the stripe that I've done for the tiger, I haven't actually added the, like, the inside of the colour to be yellow. I've just had two outlines of the, of the shade of yellow instead of having it all filled in with the yellow. So it looks a bit cleaner in my opinion. 10 out of 10, definitely. Moving on now to St Kilda, the fourth last one of the video. We have a very similar design that to what they have had over the past few years in a few of their different Guernseys. We have, once again, we bring back the gradient. The top half we have in black. We have the white cross, which looks really good on Saints jumpers. I really do like it. Definitely, I would say this one's better than what the Saints have currently as their home kit. And then we have the top half of the bottom half in red, going into a gradient into black. Doesn't look too bad at all. I'm going to give myself a good 9.5 because this looks really clean. Moving on to Sydney, I wanted to try a bit of a different design for the Swans. I've got the top half of it in white, got the logo, I've uh, got the sponsor QBE in red, got the collar in red, got the bottom half in red. And then we've got the big swan in white, which stands out a lot, doesn't look too bad, looks pretty terrific as well. I'm going to give this one a good 8.5 because of how clean it looks. Obviously a bit of a basic design, could have done a few different things with this, but looks really good. I'm going to give it an 8.5. Moving on to West Coast now, I've decided to change up the design a little bit, once again with the gradient, because the gradients on jumpers look absolutely insane. We've got the big top half in yellow into a small blue, or uh, dark blue, or royal blue, sorry, gradient at the bottom. And then we've got the royal blue sides as well. Obviously wanted to put their logo in the middle of the jumper as well, because that looks pretty sick in their current designs for their jumpers. I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10, because it does look really nice with the gradients and with the stripes on the side. We'll move on to the last one for the video now, the Western Bulldogs. Now tell me what you guys think of this one. I've basically made just the normal home kit, the red collar is what they have in the home kit. The main color of the jumper is blue. We've got the red and white stripe, and then we've got the big bulldog leaping out into the jumper from the right hand side. Looks really clean to me, looks really nice. I don't know if the bulldog jumping out of the jumper makes a good or a bad impact on it. I think it could either go bad or good either way, just how depending on how people see it. I'm gonna give this one a 7.5, just because the bulldog does look a bit strange on the jumper, but I reckon like they just have now for their normal home Guernsey looks pretty good. Pretty basic, but pretty good. Don't know if this jumper is better than their normal home kit, but I'm going to give it a 7. So if you guys did enjoy this video and want me to do more Guernsey redesigns in the future, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next video.